for San Houston Area Council. I am Mrs. Walton and I am part of the Mustang District and I'm also an art teacher. So this year they asked me to do the Tiger Cub Adventures, which I was super excited about because I get to do some art stuff. So during this week, as we work on our requirements, stories and shapes, we will be having a chance to visit, look at, talk about, and even make some art for this requirement. So today, as we work on requirement one, we will be visiting an art museum. And I chose to visit the Art Car Museum with you today in Houston. So I am super excited to get to go inside, show you a little about the Art Car Museum and the exhibits that it houses right now. And I can't wait to get started. So here we go. The Houston Art Car Museum, located at 140 Heights Boulevard in Houston, opened its doors in February of 1998. The Art Car Museum draws from a combination of the traditions of fine art, folk art, and public art. The museum features the most imaginative, elaborate, and artfully constructed art cars, low riders, and mobile contraptions, as well as a revolving exhibition of art by local, national, and international artists of all media. Art cars should give you plenty of inspiration for your next Pinewood Derby car. Hi. Hi Scouts, we are here at the Houston Art Car Museum and I have found Alicia who's going to tell you a little bit about the museum today and what her job is here. Um, so, take it away. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alicia Buchanan, I'm the Assistant Director here at the Art Car Museum and uh, I'm uh, the one that uh, sort of takes, helps make the whole place run. Uh, and uh, help the director choose the shows that we show. And uh, we have rotating exhibits. We change out all the cars, and we always have an art exhibit as well. And the art shows um, vary from photography, which is what we have now, which you'll see. Uh, part of Photo Fest every other year. It's a citywide photography extravaganza, and we always participate. So that's what you're going to see in the museum uh, today, and it is our summer show last year. John Mosciani has been collecting garbage from his street during his daily walks in the Houston First Ward Arts District. He then arranges a mountain of small objects into artistic compositions and captures photographs from a bird's eye view. He posts many of his creations on social media called Junk on My Street, noting his efforts to clean up his neighborhood just like a scout he tries to leave no trace. One day he started singing an original tune about junk on his street. It led to composing a harmonica and band performance with the same name. Here you can see a fish called Deep Sea Metamorphish, used with small pieces he picked up. And this one goes by the name Party Girl. Daniel Kramer has lived in Houston since 2000 and is a photographer and an educator at Rice University since 2008. Over the course of his career, his photographs have appeared in numerous publications including Time, Newsweek, USA Today, The New York Times, and The Wall Street Journal. His work you'll see here at the Art Car Museum features images you might see at the famous Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. His bold, beautiful colors draw your eye to each individual piece. So very cool. Can you tell me a little bit how many cars do you typically have in an art car museum? Yes, we have usually it depends on the art show because we try to match, match the cars uh, as best we can with whatever's on the walls. And uh, as you can see inside, we have uh, we have cars that have a rodeo flavor to them, and uh, that's the theme of the, the main photographer Daniel Kramer's uh, work at the museum. We also have Johnny uh, Texas Johnny Boy, and he is a local blues musician. He also is a photographer, and uh, you'll see his work in the second small gallery. He calls it Junk on My Street. He finds 
things that are on his street. He lives by a railroad track, so there's always a lot of junk. And he arranges it and he takes a picture of the city, and that's quite an uh, interesting way to approach it. So I'm standing now in front of the Fruitmobile, which was in the very first art park parade over 35 years ago, and many, many since. It's a classic Houston art park, and it's now one of the oldest. It still runs. It was to be in this year's parade, but alas, this year's parade was canceled. But keep an eye out, and it'll probably be in many, many to come. And uh, the museum itself, we've been here 22 years. And we are here so that you can come see a few art cards year round. We have anywhere from three to five art cards, uh, six, seven, depends on the art show, or if we're having a special uh, auto show, we will have more cards than art. Hi, my name is Chris Reinsholm, and this is my art car, Carlage. Hello. My name is Amelia Corinne, and this is my daily driver, Buttercup. Hi, my name is Bertha, and these are our art cars. This is Rose. This is the Flamingo car. My name's Sam Van Biver, and I'm a, a car artist. Been one for many years. This is one of many cars that I've painted and are helped to paint. This one's all mine. It's called the Cat Circus. So Scouts, I hope you had a lot of fun visiting the Art Car Museum today, seeing what it has to offer. And one of the really cool things about this and why I was so excited to get to go to that museum um, is because I have my own art cars. I actually have two. So the one behind me is Charlotte. She is made out of beads. And then up top, way up there, you can see that that is a dragonfly. She's made out of a car or a truck muffler, um, a pipe organ pipe, and some garden stuff. Um, and a kitchen strainer for her head. So that's my first art car, and she's been in the parade since 2013. And then you can kind of start to see the one behind it. Um, that is the one I actually get to paint with my fifth graders every year. Um, so that one was a movie-themed art car. You can see the carousel horse on top and the movie ticket on the bottom. Um, but I hope you get to get outside, get to see some different artworks. Go check out some art cars. Make sure you check out the art car parade when it comes into town. Um, and all those art cars start to roll. And if you ever see an art car artist, I promise you, you can stop and say hi to them. Uh, they are the nicest people around and they always have a story to tell. So I hope you have a fantastic day. Look for art around you and I will see you soon. Bye.